So it's our last day in Oklahoma City. Uh, we've been here for the last like three days, four days. We decided to spend Labor Day weekend in Oklahoma City with our friends Tim and Sarah who live in Dallas. So on Friday we flew into Dallas, then Saturday morning we woke up at like, I don't know, 8 a.m. and then drove three hours to Oklahoma City. This is our last morning here. Our flight leaves in like, I don't know, four hours, and then we head back to Milwaukee. We were only here for a short period of time, and I didn't want to spend every night editing vlogs and trying to upload them to YouTube. I really wanted to just spend time with Jen and with our friends Tim and Sarah, who we don't really see that often. Now, of course, I had all my cameras with me, so I've recorded a ton of footage. I don't want it to go to waste, so I'm just gonna make like one long video. So while Jen and I get ready to leave and head back to Milwaukee, here is four days ago when we were leaving Milwaukee, headed to meet our friends Tim and Sarah in Dallas. Where the hell did Jen go? We just got to the airport. We got stuck in traffic, so we're running a little bit behind, but... I think we're gonna be okay. Dallas, Texas. Uh, our friends Tim and Sarah live here, so they're going to be picking us up and taking us back to their house. Where's America? The stripper was mooning people? I don't know if it was a man or a woman. Really? I still don't know. Hi, Sarah. How did you know that we were here? Because you just knew. Hi. We're in Texas. <laughs> it's like 7.53 in the morning. Okay, Jen was like the first one up, and she felt like the whole apartment shake. And I guess there was an earthquake near Oklahoma City. Are you ready? You want help? Well, what else? Are you ready to go? Just back oh, really? Okay. Let's do this. Give me a high five. Quick stop to get breakfast tacos because we're in Texas, so why would you not get breakfast tacos?
it. Great, thank you so much. We're at Lake Hefner right now. This is cool. Is this man-made? Like yes. Yeah. How did, can they possibly uh, make this? Uh, I mean, I know we went to the moon. It was all by hand. We were all artisans. <laughs> <laughs> So we're checking out a replica, a replica of the second oldest. oldest lighthouse in America. It was in, where was it from, Maine? Yeah, Nantucket. Nantucket or something like that. I don't know why they picked this one. I also don't know if these two stars on the top were on the original one as well. I like Pretty that. though. <laughs> Thank you. Right, thanks, guys. Yep. Hello. Thank you, sir. Time for some dinner. Wow. I know, right? Wow. I bet you people sit in that. <laughs> oh, I bet people sit in it all the time. <laughs> Hello. More M O O R E. Great, thank you. I like this, look at one, 49, or 50.
Yeah. All right, we are now heading to the Oklahoma City Bombing Memorial. Been very interested to see this. Yeah. So we're doing this thing tonight called Escape the Room. They lock you in this room and you have to like solve puzzles or questions or something like that. And you basically have I think an hour to get out of this room that they've locked you in. Are you guys excited for this? Oh, yeah. I don't know what to expect. I hope we make it out. They are? Alright, are you guys got this? We're gonna do this, right? I'm pretty confident. This is, this is a smart group of people. Alright. Uh, we'll check back with you in like 45 minutes and let you know if we made it out. You guys ready for this? Alright guys, before we begin... There's only one man clever enough to have perpetrated such a dastardly crime. Huh. And I thought you were ready to give up! There it is. Oh wow, Very good. We made it out! Good job, guys! Yeah. Bravo! Yeah. <laughs> that was actually weak. <laughs> to making it out twice! Bravo! And the badass cupcakes. Yes, and the badass cupcakes. Did you have fun in Oklahoma City? Yeah, it was a good time. I did. It was yeah. fun. Even though we were only here for, what, three days? Four days? No. Two. Three, three days. Saturday. Oh, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Oh, what that, we're still here three days. It feels like we were here a lot longer than that. Our flight leaves in like, I don't know, four hours. So we're just taking a little walk downtown, killing the rest of the time we have left until we gotta head to the airport. And then it's back to Milwaukee. For that. Look at you. All right, time to head back to Milwaukee. Quick stop at the state capitol, then head to the airport. All right, guys. Thank you so much for driving us. Yeah. It was nice seeing you. <laughs> Have a fun drive home. Hopefully the baby doesn't scream too much. All right, back to Milwaukee. I'm ready to be home. Yeah, I still think we should be able to get a car. I know, we gotta fly to <laughs> Chicago. If you're not familiar with Chicago and Milwaukee, they're only an hour and a half drive apart, so this layover is a little on the disappointing side. This might be the smallest airplane we have ever been on. Ladies and gentlemen, we do have a full flight today in order to accommodate all passenger carry-on bags that you have brought on board in two bags. All right, this airplane is tiny. We do have a limited overhead compartment space. It's gonna take off like a bat out of hell though. 